So what I'm going to talk about may or may not make me sound like one of those misogynist pricks. And I don't want to be that, okay? This is just something that's my opinion. If you want to watch something where a man, you know, assaults a woman or, you know, is a complete fucking weirdo when it comes to women, just go to Sweetie's channel. He's He's got plenty. I mean, especially where he assaulted Kate. I posted that in the community uh, tab earlier today and uh, one yesterday. We're getting multiple things. Uh, people bring out videos. And if if you can, if you're on the community tab, and I'm not going to show you where it is because you guys are smarter than that. I don't have to show you. I trust you. I trust you, okay? And <laughs> if you guys want to check out, be sure to give those channels that I have linked. Give them some love. Um, so, first off, I, I know the video I made um, about depression was, uh, it wasn't a big, big hit. And I know why. I know depression, when it comes to being on the media, uh, YouTube, Twitch, whatever, um, it's hard to get in that algorithm because it's kind of considered taboo. Um, you can't talk about suicide, you can't talk about abuse, you can't talk about a lot of stuff without it getting lost in, um, you know, whatever. It gets lost, and it doesn't get traction. Um, and most of the times it gets shadow banned, because nobody wants to talk about depression. And that's not what I'm here to talk about. But I, I would say that, and probably, I mean, it was a 30-minute long video about me yammering about depression. And I'm glad that the people that did watch that got something out of it. Uh, I, I wish maybe some more people would see it because um, I would love to help people. That's that's my thing. I, I Ever since I started a YouTube channel, uh, even at the beginning, I wanted to just make people laugh. And once I got serious off and on, I was still talking about mental health issues and shit. But that's not what we're talking about today. We are talking about another type of abuse. And... This is actually pretty big right now. It's a pretty big thing. It's actually become a worldwide phenomenon within itself. And I've barely kept track of it, honestly. I, honestly I, I've watched snippet, snippets here and there. I watched the compilations of the memes. And some of them are pretty great. And what I'm talking about is the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial, which is really crazy because, you know, everybody is watching this thing. This is... This is huge. I mean, the money made just off this from media is, is ginormous. I mean, it's huge. Probably worth more than the actual case itself. And, you know, I think that was millions of dollars, uh, quite, a, quite a bit of money um, tied around in this thing. And today they actually reached a verdict after a long trial and it went to Johnny Depp, which a lot of people kind of knew that was going to happen, right? Um, people was able to look through Amber Heard and be like, "Hey, you're you're crazy. You're you're fucking bananas." And yeah, I mean, who shits on a bed, really, really? Um, and the reason why I say say this say this is because you know, in media, media portrays if there is a similar case or any case involving a man and a woman, and it be and something for abuse, um, men doesn't really get treated fairly in that. And, you know, this is not me trying to be an incel at all. Um, like I said, if you want to watch something about women getting hate, go to Sweetie's channel. He does that regularly. But anyways, um, men doesn't really get the same attention as the female counterpart when it comes to abusive relationships within the media. Uh, we had the Me Too movement, which was a great thing. The Me Too movement was a good thing. There was good and bad things about it. But what it brought to light was a bunch of this sexual abuse that's been going on pretty much in the whole, any occupation that you could think of. And it kind of brought that to light. Um, you know, there's a lot of big cases, a lot of, a lot of crazy um, elite men that, hey, you you fucking did this. Now, now I'm going to let everybody know. And, you know, they let people know. But the thing about this one is it's almost a, a, one of the Uno cards that reverses its opposite, opposite 
thing. What what is it called? It's called reverse card or the the sides are switched here. The sides are switched. And again, guys, I don't know a whole lot about this. I just wanted to give my opinion on it. And it's weird to see it. You, you hear a lot of people, you know, wanting Johnny Depp to win. And you can actually tell. And both of these people are actors, okay? They can act their ways out of paper bags if they wanted to. And they both put on a pretty good show, except for a a Amber did not. If <laughs> my dog stepped on a bee. Yeah, that it, it's all over TikTok. I even made one. But um she like very, very nobody believed her at all. No what and still a lot of people don't. And after today's verdict that went toward for Johnny Depp, Johnny Te Depp won. He won a lot of money. I don't think it was fifty million dollars. I think it was somewhere maybe in the between fifteen, twenty million dollars. I could be wrong. I, I know it was a big number, but the media's probably made way more money as well as like social media, stuff like that made way more money off of this than what that case is actually worth, which which goes to say something. People are really invested in this thing. Like bad. Like I I myself, you know, I'm I'm at work and everybody's talking about it. I'm like what what am I missing? What am I missing? And it's just kind of weird to see that the roles are reversed. And a lot of people, like I said at the beginning, probably thought that Johnny Depp was an abuser. And we still can't prove that he wasn't. Except this case, this case throws out that, um, just throws that out. It's like, hey, Johnny Depp's not a bad guy. He's not an abuser. And you come to find out that Amber Heard is an abuser. And it's one-sided. It's always one-sided. If you ever notice, like, again, in media, uh, when it comes to a man and a woman in a relationship, um, you never hear the man coming out talking about abuse, rather be physical or me mental abuse. You never hear that. It's it's stigmatized. You're When you're a man, you're supposed to be a man. You're not supposed to cry, and you're not supposed to share your feelings. And, you know, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, um, you know, I, you know, my stepdad, he, he's really cool. Um, he was one of those guys that's like, Hey, uh, you know, you gotta be a man. You gotta suck it up. Don't cry. And there for a long time, I didn't cry at all. Like I didn't, I, I, I thought it was weak and I looked down at people that cried all the time. And it wasn't until I got out of that house and out a few years later, when bad shit starts to happen, finally, like let loose you know one, one of my things is I, I like to bottle things up right like just like to bottle up rather be being mad sad or whatever and i come to find out that you know it's okay to have feelings it's okay to come out and tell people about your abuse you're allowed to do that and you know i had a relationship where it was mentally sometimes physically abusive um and you know, I still have I, I still have problems opening up to even my fiance about these things because it's it brings back bad memories. I don't you know, I just don't want to talk about it. And I'd say, like, if you take a look at Johnny Depp, this case and where the roles have been reversed. I, I, I think I think it's a good thing for men in general. Um, and I think it's good for how men are portrayed in the media. Not all men are bad men. Not all women are bad women. We, we know that. We know that. The stereotypes exist. And that's basically what it is. Whenever you're a man, the stereotype is, is you don't cry. You don't show your emotions. You be a man. That's what you do. If you're getting abused physically or mentally, you don't tell anybody. You just take it. That's what you're told from, you know, from birth. Well, not from birth, but when you're able to, to understand things, you're, you're told most of the time, a lot of people, especially old fashioned people are like, you know, you know, take it and shut up, be a man. What does that even mean? Be a man. It doesn't mean being an alpha because there's no such thing as an alpha. I'm sorry. I mean, there probably is, but. We, we know people that call themselves alphas are 
not really alphas. If you was an alpha, you wouldn't have to say you're an alpha. People would just fucking know that. But you know, if if you was to come out, and this is this is very very true, if you was to come out and say like, hey, I got abused. Hey, and you're a man. You, you sometimes you just call it, you know, you get called a bitch, a liar, an incel. And that's why a lot of men doesn't even come out and say things. It's it's just true. It's true. I mean, you take a look. A lot of big, these big cases has happened throughout the years. Big profile things, you know, like uh, the Kavanaugh case, um, which was crazy. It's just so happens as he was being confirmed, something came out from him about sexual assault basically and that got that got thrown under the rug we don't know it really happened but in the narrative was trust all women trust all women men bad men are bad <clears throat> but i don't think that should be the case i think if you're a man <coughs> sorry i'm gonna die probably for making this video if you're a man or if you're a woman, you should be open. You should allow you you should be allowed to express your feelings. If you're being hurt, you should be able to tell somebody. It's just when somebody lies about these things, it makes one side look worse than the other. Uh taking take for case, um, you know, you see, like I said, these big elites, uh Hollywood moguls, uh what was it? Uh not Epstein. Weinstein, Weinstein people came on on him and nothing really happened to him. Like he doesn't have a job anymore, but is he still alive? Is he still alive? I mean, James Franco and you know, a lot of them, they're coming out. It's like, hey, these people are uh, sexually assaulting other people with because they have power. They're they're elites. But you're supposed to believe the elite. You're supposed to, uh, in, in the media, you're supposed to believe the elite unless you're a man. But Cases like these huge cases like uh, Weinstein and Franco and stuff like that, Kavanaugh, um, I mean, that's that's what paints the narrative that all oh, men are bad because the media just covers that issue. That's it. They don't cover the man, man side, even though those men were guilty. But... The judgment was already cast on that before because they were men. But at the end, they were pieces of shit. But like I said, not all men are bad. Not all women are bad. Not all women are abusive. Not all men are abusive. That, that's, that's a lie. If somebody tells you that, it's a lie. If somebody tells you that mostly men are abusive or, you know, that that's maybe true. Statistically, it could be true. Um, you sit here, somebody says... All women are abusive. That may be statistically pro proven, but whenever you look at it in the, today's society, you're going to side with the woman because that's just how it works. And I hate that because, you know, it makes women look bad and it makes men look bad. There's, there's no real good way to look at it, honestly. And I know I'm rambling. It probably doesn't make, make a lot of sense. And I hope I don't scare you away with this. Um, my, my big thing is this. Abuse can go both ways. It's not always black and white. Roles can be reversed. And this case kind of proves that. Now, I don't know, like, I, I, I kind of do know, like, if you, you've seen Amber Heard's uh, lawyers and everything, all the gaffes and all that stuff, it was kind of a joke to begin with. Um, and the, the evidence was stacked against her in this case. She was, it was stacked against her. And we kind of knew, we kind of, everybody in their right mind knew, Hey, this, this girl's fucking nuts. She's, she's just trying to defame Johnny Depp to try to get her name out there. So it makes me wonder, like, what's going to happen now? Is she going to lose roles? Now, I heard they actually downed her role in Aquaman 2, which I never watched the first one, so I don't really care. And I don't really know what Amber Heard's been in. Uh, my fiance told me something she was in, and I, I can't think of what it was. Um, man, what was it? 
I don't know. I don't know what she, what she was in. But she was in something that we, we watched. And yeah, I lost track. I'm losing track again. My mind just plays games on me. Um it just it just sucks because I think I think men get a bad rap and on one, some things and women get a bad rap on other things. You know, that's why they say, you know, you've got incels and you've got crazy crazy ladies. I, I don't know what you call a, a girl equivalent to an incel. And I don't want to seem misogynistic and say something like, hey, she's a bitch. That's not how it works. There's there's obviously some word for it. I never I don't think I've ever heard it. And I, I could be wrong. Yeah, I hope I didn't scare you guys away. <laughs> I'm I guess the ultimate thing I want to say is if you get past all my blabbering at the end and you made it this long to the video don't judge a book by its cover just because it's painted a certain way in the media doesn't mean it's completely true you want to study both sides which I haven't really studied on the Johnny Depp Amber Heard situation but I you know I know how that's relatable to some people. It's kind of scary. I mean, if you think of it, it's kind of scary. It's just weird because, you know, I don't know. It's fucking weird. Uh, man, I'm just rambling too much. What did you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments. What are your opinions when it comes to men and women treated in the media when it comes to abuse? If you've had any abuse and, you know, and I'm going to tell you this. I want to let you know. If you ever had any type of mental or physical abuse, you tell somebody. You let people know. Don't do it in malice, though. Don't lie. Tell the truth. Because, like I said, it's, you know, everything in, in any occupation, any, you know, <laughs> group of people, there's always going to be those bad people. Like Sweetie says, all cops are bad. Well, they're not. Maybe maybe 2% of cops are bad. But you could say the same about the thing about just regular old people living their lives day to day. You know, it, it just sucks. It sucks. Oh, God, that was stupid. That was really dumb. I'm, I'm going to lose so many followers for this, probably. Yeah. <laughs> If I don't lose any followers, I thank you so much for not leaving. Um, I promise. I promise you, though. If you're a man or you're a woman, don't be afraid to tell people what is happening to you in any type of relationship. Doesn't matter if it's physical or mental or chemical. It could be chemical abuse. Let people know about it. Get help. Just do it. Just do it. Don't let people cast a judgment on you because they don't know the story. And then, like I said, in this case, you get to hear two sides of the story. And one was more believable than the other. And that's usually the case. And that's how this case ended with Johnny Depp winning because nothing checked out for Amber Heard. Uh, you know, that's what the jur jury that said. It's like, hey, she's fucking wrong in this case. Oh, God. You guys are going to call me an incel. Not looking forward to that. <laughs> I love you guys. Hope you uh hope you stay along.